Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Two Drink Minimum, the um, highest moving podcast in iTunes history, according to our historians. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> according to our screen grabs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So this uh, gentleman in front of me, you already know who he is, but I'm going to tell you anyway. It's Mike Ward. I am Mike Ward. You're a Pantelis. Yeah, and we're testing out new third mics, seeing as how Poseidon just can't seem to wake up. Yeah, this week we have... Uh, a uh, garbage can. Yeah, we, <laughs> we do have a, a trash can who um, whose resume resonated with us because yeah. there's a lot of stuff that was uh, beating Poseidon out. So uh, in the good thing about this trash can, he won't try to have sex with his coworkers' uh, fiancés. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's not a problem. No, it's his coworkers. No, it's it was his coworkers' um. It was his rival co-workers. Oh, it was his rivals. It was his rival co-workers' side chick okay. who had a fiancé. Okay. That's what it was. Okay, so it was just a garbage lady. It was a garbage lady. So he might have sex with the garbage <laughs> lady. Have. That's why be who, who Poseidon had sex with. Yeah. <laughs> if that's a lady. Yeah, basically we got Poseidon's, uh, Poseidon's ex <laughs> His Avis. side chick is yeah. here. <laughs> uh, so the resume read like a charm for us. Things like, always here on time. Always here on time. Yeah, yeah. Takes uh takes orders, <laughs> takes all the shit. <laughs> yeah. throw their way. Oh. So is Poseidon mad at us? Is I what, think so. What's going on? Uh, from from what I gather, is um, he's mad at us because uh, he thinks we're mad at him for his recent fuckery. And I know this because he was yelling about it at a, at a local cafe. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> Who is he yelling? Is he yell- yelling at, at the people someone? at the people at the cafe? Oh. Just tell them because they asked like, "Hey, what's happening? We don't see you on two drink minimum anymore." Or on this just thing. And he's like, oh, yeah, the guys are mad at me. They're overreacting because I didn't wake up once. Mm-hmm. Failing to mention the entire story. That's already <laughs> on air that we've mentioned on both the Pantelis podcast and on uh, Two Drink Minimum. So I don't know why he's talking as if people won't know what's really going on. But, yeah, that's what he did. So me and Mike had to look um, at different substitutes for um, for good old Poseidon. And we, we were looking at Frankie McDonald from Newfoundland. He's a, <laughs> that, that, that's the or New Brunswick guy. guy, right? I think he's from Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia. He's from the, the new, he's, or new he's or Nova. Out there. Yeah, he's uh, East Coast. He's very East Coast. He's very, <laughs> he's as East Coast as it gets. He's like the trailer park boys, but uh, get rid of the booze and drugs and add in mental retardation. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he seems like a good guy. Um, his big thing, his big selling point to us was guaranteed weather updates yeah. repeatedly during the show, which yeah. is what people want. So that was like, hmm, that's that's pretty interesting. That's a one. That's a number one. two. Uh, you don't you don't even need to leave his mic on since he's <laughs> always yelling. <laughs> he'll just <laughs> he'll just yell at us. So I was like, fuck that. That's a, that's actually a good selling point. Then also uh, there was this braggadocious behavior regarding how many hot dogs he could eat in one sitting, <laughs> which I believe was over fifty. Also impressive. Yeah. Also beating out Poseidon. But then we have other stats like how many prostitutes banged lifetime wise, which he starts losing. Uh, and then the childhood comes into play. Right, who had the shittier childhood? Stolen Sega and all that. That's yeah. kind of leaning towards Poseidon. But this guy has the obvious problem that we all can see. You know, the weather guy, which is he's obsessed with the weather, which yeah. must have been hard on his family growing up. Um, so I don't know. I feel like it's a draw. Yeah, it's a draw on that. I end. think. Do you, do you think Poseidon thought we were seriously going to bring in that that weather guy? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He and because the comments on the internet said "fuck Poseidon," this guy's a thousand times better. <laughs> so he panicked. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> so God damn it! It was cl- clearly a Photoshop. Yeah, no, I know, because I saw the picture you you put up. I didn't put it up. It was a. Uh, it was, it Jason. was Jason. Yeah. The, it wasn't even the same background. No, nothing. <laughs> nothing. It, it was completely different. But what's crazy is when I saw Jason post it, uh, it's funny because people thought it was me who posted it, but I don't, I, I don't know how to do that stuff. I don't know how to I know how to put regular stuff over. I don't know how to crop a person out unless the background is already okay. transparent. So, um, yeah, when uh, he posted that, I figured people would get the gag. And most people understood. I got Everyone some, got it. I got some private messages on Instagram because I post on Instagram where people realized, like fans, and they were like, you're just fucking with Poseidon. And I'm like, yeah, obviously, we're fucking Poseidon. Um, but they didn't buy it, but he bought it. So that's why me and Mike said, all right, so if Poseidon's no longer going to be part of the show, we need to find someone who's equal or better. We should get his mom involved in this. Just to get his mom to say that, uh, that, that uh, what's his name, Frankie McDonald? Yeah, is better. No, but Frankie McDonald is going to be living at their house for a while. <laughs> <laughs> just while he's here filming two drink minimum. Just on Tuesdays and Thursdays <laughs> when, when we record. 
<laughs> this guy's taking over my life. Just look, Frankie's gonna <laughs> and just get him to get him a job like a not at Avis, but like a, a dollar rent a car. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to take over his life. So, what do you got to say about that trash can? Well, you know, that's better insight yeah, than usual. Yeah. <laughs> and the story has a better ending <laughs> than, than most of the stories you listen to. So you were telling me about uh, George Bush's funeral. Yeah, George Bush's funeral. Um, Brian Mulroney, who is our old, old, old prime minister, sounded like fucking, because uh, he was really good friends with uh, George Bush, sounded like uh, Chip Chipperson. Because uh, <laughs> George Bush, was uh, he was a Navy guy. And, and he uh, was like, come on now. <laughs> yeah. No, but he, he was like, you know. There are different kind of ships. So it sounded just so stupid. He's like, there are wooden ships, there are sailing ships, but the best ship of all is friendship. Oh, no way. Did he and say I, that? Yeah. And I was like, oh, you fucking idiot. We look so stupid now. <laughs> the thing representing Canada is Frankie McDonald and fucking... Friendship. <laughs> and friendship. <laughs> Fuck it. Because the... <laughs> The best kind of ship is friendship. You can add a fuck yeah. <laughs> ah, fuck <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's just Chip Tipperson. <laughs> it's just Norton fuck at it. the funeral. Yeah. What I do? Yeah. I, at first, I was like, I Googled that saying because I figured maybe, maybe it's from a poem from like 1931 before people had talent. <laughs> you know, because it just sounds so stupid. But it's actually something that he wrote. So he sat down. He was like, okay, he was in the Navy. Okay, Navy. They have ships. Okay, I'm getting sh- somewhere. Oh, fuck, friendship. And I bet you he's like, yeah. God damn, I got to record this. Yeah. I got I to gotta get in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> I got to record this track. Oh, my God, that's hilarious. What a fucking weirdo. Did I ever tell you the story that his wife came on to me? Years Which ago? Bush? Uh, no, uh, uh, Brian Mulroney. Oh, shit, I want to hear this. Yeah. Uh, the first year I got to Montreal... Um, Actually, before I lived in Montreal, I was coming here just to visit, and uh, I was at the Hard Rock Cafe, and his wife was very, she was kind of sexy. Oh. Yeah, her name was Mila, Mila Mulroney. That's a cool name. Yeah, and she was, uh, she was like maybe 10, 15 years younger than him, and then, so she was like in her late 30s. Wait, is this that goofy guy on TV, Ben Mulroney? Is that his mom? That's his mom, yeah. Oh, I hope you banged her. So No, I didn't bang her, but she, I like I was at the Hard Rock Cafe, and then I kept on just staring at her because, like, I used to be, like, uh, when I was, like, 20, attracted to, like, MILFs. Okay. So I was looking at her, and I was like, I think I can fuck this lady. I think I can <laughs> fuck this lady. And then then I realized who she was. When I realized who she was, I stopped sort of staring at her like a fucking pervert. And uh, when she left, the waiter came over, and he was like, uh, the lady that was there wanted to buy you a drink. So she bought me a drink. So oh, I should have fucked her. You should have fucked her. Yeah, I could have been like the what the Rolling Stones were to Justin. Yeah, <laughs> a nightmare. Yeah, for Ben Mulroney. Yeah, I would have. I would have ruined ben, ben Mulroney's life. And wait, what did he do? Access Hollywood Canada or some shit? Yeah, or ET. You could have been does doing that. ET Canada. You yeah. could have been doing ET Canada. I'd love to do an interview with ET Canada. He'd be like, "Hey, Mike, you blah blah," and I'd be like, "I could have fucked your mom." <laughs> <laughs> and tell him the story. Yeah, uh, is she still alive? Yeah, I, I, I ask your mom about the Hard yeah, Rock. Yeah. <laughs> There are a lot of, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, in planes, there's the cockpit. <laughs> but or I'm trying to find a word that ends with it that has cock in it to do, like, the friendship thing. <laughs> <laughs> I met her at the uh, the Hard Rock. But really, she was looking for a hard cock. <laughs> that's, it. that's it. At her funeral, that's what yeah. you're going to say? <laughs> like, what that. is he talking about? Who invited my <laughs> Lord? Like, nobody invited him. He showed up. Nobody said anything. We thought it was just a celebrity appearance. Yeah. Oh, uh, that is yeah. Amazing. I sh- I should have I should have. Uh, I don't know why I chickened out when I I knew she was married to the prime minister. I don't know. The, the prime minister has been a wacky. Mother- Our current prime minister has been a wacky motherfucker. I don't know if you saw he because uh, you you were in Switzerland. I guess we'll yeah. talk about it in the full episode later. But uh, Mike Ward, Mike just got back. He was I in got Switzerland. back from Switzerland. I got booked in South Africa when I was there. Oh shit! Yeah, Trevor Noah. So that, Tre- I heard it's Trevor dangerous. Trevor Noah's. Uh, uh, Trevor Noah's uh, old manager runs a festival, and he saw me, and I, I insulted Trevor Noah. Good. And then we just started talking, and then he booked me uh, on his festival. So it's that easy. Yeah, <laughs> just talk shit about Trevor yeah. Noah, and you make it. Yeah. 
So, uh, so you did the uh, the festival there in Switzerland. Obviously, you did well. You're getting booked Montreux, in other places. Yeah. Montreux. So while you were away, I don't know if you saw this, Trevor Noah was in our news. Yeah, and um, uh, what's his face? Gave him $50 million? Yeah, our, so here's what happened. is He started a charity, I guess, for uh, to educate women around the world, uh, Trevor Noah, something of the sort. And on Twitter, our Prime Minister Trudeau said, fuck, I want to be popular too. I want to help out. So he said, I pledge, like Canada pledges $50 million. The problem is that sounds like a good thing. Like, oh, Trudeau's, that's not Trudeau's money. Trudeau just went out there and pledged other people's money, taxpayers' yeah. money. Nobody agreed to this. We got our own problems, right? So he's pledging other people's money. He's that guy that shows up at the party, doesn't get anything, right? And just tells people that he got the wine even though you got the wine. Yeah. That's him. That's and, the guy. And like third world countries, like I used to sponsor a little kid in Africa. It used to cost me 20, I think it was 18 or $21 a month. And this little fucker was fed. He was, he'd, he'd eat, he, w- he had clothes and books. So $15 million in third world countries. It's huge. It's fucking huge. Yeah, but they're not going to get it. Noah's no one's going to release a new special. However, I can't believe he had the balls to pledge someone else's money. All right, yeah, get everybody in the bar round. It's on him. Yeah. It's on, it's on that guy. Thank you, guys. Thank you. It's yeah. on taxpayer. Yeah, it's, it's on, on the taxpayer. Johnny taxpayer. So stupid. Yeah. And that's what he did. That's what, that's what Trudeau was doing. I was thinking about uh, Trudeau when I was in Montreux because a lot of people were talking about um, the uh, Human Rights Commission with, the, with the, the two pedophiles in the Human Rights Commission. Nice. And I was like, you know how Trudeau always dresses up like uh, if he goes to India, he dresses like he's Indian. If he goes to uh, Israel, he dresses like he's Jewish. I was like, if uh, I'd love to see him go to the Human Rights Commission <laughs> now, dress up as a pedophile. Every time he goes, <laughs> like he shows up in a little white van. It's, it's always <laughs> Halloween for this guy. Yeah. He's, he he's just got likes, a good life. He's he got can a good life. give people $50 million. Of other people's money. Yeah, and he's always wearing a funny costume. <laughs> <laughs> he's always wearing a funny costume. I wonder if he, like, because... Like there's something about being a white man. Whenever you dress ethnic, you 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 th- it's kind of funny. Like you you don't you feel racist thinking it's kind of funny. But he has to think it's kind of funny. Like when he was in India, like that was when, hilarious. When he sees himself in the mirror, he's got to go like, God damn, this is so funny. <laughs> I'm fuck. I'm dressed like a poo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He. But he's, I don't think he sees it. He has to. He he stopped. He said that because um, if somewhere up in north that we need infrastructure, we need to build some shit for this town. And he stopped it. He said, we need to do a gender analysis on the place because we're scared to send um, construction workers because they're usually men and men are rapists. So we don't want people to get raped by construction workers. <laughs> but this is the same guy who a couple of months ago when they were asking him, why do you think it's worth bringing back ISIS fighters to Canada? He's the guy who said ISIS fighters coming back, they're an important voice for Canada. So ISIS fighters are an important voice for Canada, but, but construction, construction workers work- are rapists. Yeah. He's fucking all over the map, this guy. All over the map. He doesn't know what he's talking about. No. Yeah, that's fucking weird. Yeah. He's trying to appease everyone, but I think he's pleasing no one anymore. I think, though, he's one of those guys. You know, like, whenever you... You want everyone to like you. Yeah. Everyone eventually hates you. Yeah, that's like what he's he is. the new kid at school. That the first week you're like, I fucking like that guy. He's fun and everything I like, he likes. And yeah. then you realize, oh, what a fucking piece of garbage. It's phony. He doesn't yeah. like anything I like. Yeah, he told me he liked Metallica. And now he's fucking dancing with the Backstreet Boy kids. Yeah, <laughs> and he's telling them how shit Metallica is. Yeah, yeah, that's him. Yeah, that's exactly him. I think people are starting to realize. I think the fifty million might piss people off because yeah. we have our own problems here, and and you know the deficit and. He, he was complaining about how he can't balance the fucking budget. Come on. Canada's hated him for a while, though. I think it was, it was the rest of the world that really liked him. Yeah. And I think the rest of the world is starting to hate him, too. What do you, what do you think about this? He is a garbage person. He's exactly like yeah, he you. He is exactly a garbage person. <laughs> you heard it here first. Yeah. Wow, this is... He's quickly becoming the number one contributor yeah. <laughs> who has ever sat in that chair. Yeah. He's, he's great. This is Jamie Trudeau, Justin's brother. <laughs> is that, that's the name of the trash can, Jamie Trudeau. <laughs> Jamie. Hey, Jamie. <laughs> it's amazing. Good old Jamie Trudeau. Yeah, so it, um, Montreux was, was fun. It was uh, weird, but fun. Yeah? Yeah. Everyone's so rich there. Like, what do you mean? Like, uh, like... Uh, I got there, there were no homeless people, and I was like, this is fucking crazy. There are no homeless people. Then I talked to someone, and uh, they were like, yeah, uh, being homeless is illegal. What does that mean? How is it illegal? What if you just you just run out of money? I guess they, they put you in prison. Really? Yeah. What? 
Yeah. You have a home now. <laughs> yeah, you have a home now. Wait, so it's kind of like if you're playing Monopoly in real life and you fuck up and they just put you to jail because yeah. you lost? Yeah. Exactly. That's insane. Yeah. No, I know. Exactly. Yeah. And it's really, really expensive. Like if... if It's easy to become homeless, yeah. what you're saying. If we moved there, we'd be homeless within a month. So I, would say, I think a week, sir. <laughs> yeah, free room and The board. way we're frivolous with our <laughs> money, it'll be a week. Yeah. Oh, that's fucking interesting. Yeah. What do you do? How do you... How does nobody say anything? You're putting people who haven't committed a crime in jail. But then again, but, it is a crime there. But uh, most of the people there, I noticed, uh, they... The, well, the what the people were telling me, because I was... Like, all of the sidewalks are covered, so it's amazing. Like, it was raining the whole week, but you couldn't tell because you're just walking down the street and rain doesn't get on you because you're not in the street. And I was like, fuck, they should do that everywhere. Yeah. And then, but then I started thinking, I was like, if they did that in Montreal, we'd get homeless guys that would be like, this is amazing. And they just, you know, tr- like, wouldn't even try anymore to not be homeless because they'd be like, I have, a, I have a roof. I don't have walls, but I have a roof. And then... I was like, that. Why don't they have homeless people here? And the guy, the guy that told me, I guess he like he's a Swiss guy. He was like, no, it's illegal. And I was like, really? Should have asked what that means. Like yeah. he said, you go to jail. Yeah, he. Well, he said, like uh, it's it's only if uh, if you accept money from strangers or ask for money. So I guess it's more panhandling is illegal. Panhandling is illegal. But not like let's say right now you have your last ten thousand dollars and you're at the Swiss casino. And you're rolling that dice. Basically, you're like, either I'm making my money or I'm going to jail. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. I think, though, like, it, but this isn't in all of Switzerland. It's just Montreux. the, the they, they have, they call them cantons there. So they're like little counties. Counties, yeah. So in the county of Montreux, uh, it's illegal. So I guess as soon as you run out of money, you you have to keep a couple bucks just to... I don't think they have just buses to leave. there. Yeah, just to leave. Maybe hop on, you know, a Is there car. a sheriff in that county? There probably isn't. If there is, it's some Swiss sheriff that don't fucking give you cheese and chocolate. Is it, you, ever been, uh, you ever been to Switzerland? Jamie, uh, <laughs> Jamie Trudeau, <laughs> it's giving us nothing, <laughs> and yet still a little bit more of a yeah. something. <laughs> at least he won't be mad at us after yeah. the show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he might be fuck. Who knows? Everybody's sensitive nowadays. <laughs> oh, that's fucking interesting. I had no idea that it was. And what's happening with South Africa? Ugh, what's happening with South Africa? Uh, the guy, because I was doing a, a gala for. Um, European and African TV, but they haven't sold it yet to anyone. So they're doing kind of like what I did with my special. They're like, let's film this, and then we'll sell it. Where are you going to sell it? I don't, I don't know. know. So they do this every year. They've been doing the uh, the English galas there for like the last six or seven years. They always bring in uh, like people from all over the world. There was uh, there was uh, someone from there was there was a lady from Iran. There was a lady from India. There was a dude from uh, uh, England, and there was me, and that was the show. Interesting. And, oh, and a guy from South Africa. And the 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 guy running the thing is a South African guy who used to be Trevor Noah's manager. And then he he got fired. Uh, no, I, I asked him because I I wanted to start shit. <laughs> so I was like, when when uh, Trevor left. Did uh did it end poorly? Because <laughs> I wanted him to go. Trevor Noah was a fucking asshole, but he was he was like, no, it ended really well, and I'm happy for Trevor. And, and by, I was like, by well, you mean he told you to go fuck yourself? Yeah, no, but he uh, apparently Trevor left, and then he he was like, because uh, he had made money in South Africa, because there there's a big comedy boom over there, and he was like, I'll go to the states and see if I can make it, and if if I can't, as soon as I run out of money, I'll move back to South Africa, and then just do a tour again and but he um uh trevor apparently wasn't doing well in the states because he was just he told me like in south africa he was just a comic so he'd have jokes about his his you know his sister his mom whatever like just a regular comic then he moved to the states he was doing the same jokes and they weren't landing and then they're like we all have sisters here yeah but then he became uh like the voice of africa so all of his bits were about you know, in in uh, I did shows in in Nigeria, and people in Nigeria are blah blah blah. And then um. I I went to Mozambique, and then he so he started writing bits about all all of Africa. So he became like 
the African guy, and that's when it worked. Oh, that's fucking interesting. Yeah. And I watched, like, uh, when I was there, I Googled. I had never seen, I'd only seen Trevor Noah do a couple of bits of stand-up, and I fucking hated it. And then, but I, I Googled a thing he did about a trip um, to some fucking African country, and it was actually pretty good. Really? Yeah. It was about uh, how they don't have escalators. And I think I was just laughing because poor people without escalators is funny <laughs> to me. <laughs> That's such a shitty thing. <laughs> so I was like, you uh, missed the whole joke. He's like, no, no, Mike, let me explain. He's like, you don't have to explain uh, anymore. <laughs> it's funny because they're poor. You're telling me they have to walk upstairs. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> Those fucking Those poor people. Fucking blacks. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. Yeah, no, but it was actually a good bet. Yeah, it was. Yeah, good. yeah. I don't know, but I don't know why I don't like him. I think it's because he's become so fucking left leaning. I think that's what happened. Like he moved to America, became the African dude, and then when he got the Daily Show, he was like, "Okay, I'm gonna become the left wing dude." Uh, okay. I don't think he was this left leaning. You can't be that left leaning if your dad is Swiss. Like his dad yeah. is Swiss. Like all they do is think about money. Yeah, yeah. That but sounded it's, it's the super racist, but. You know, it, it, no like, Swiss. That that is all they think about. And if you think we're wrong, historically, look at the context. Yeah, they were the ones who were willing to be like, "What are the Nazis doing? Who are they killing?" Yeah. That's cool. We'll take the money. It's weird how in the old days we were like, "No, uh, the Swiss they don't take sides. They but don't. They take do sides, take sides, but they clearly took sides. They're <laughs> like, look, we're not gonna fight. We're just gonna take all of these people's money that they stole from them. Yeah, and hide it really well. Yeah. But we're not taking a but side. We're not or taking a side. Yeah, like, yeah, you have any more? Is that clear, Jew? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Does it give any more swat stick armbands? Yeah. Oh fuck! <laughs> I saw a guy uh, at the Geneva airport, like this hippie with a swastika on his guitar. What? <laughs> I was like, I saw this fucking weirdo because everyone looks kind of. Everyone looks like they're married to posh spice okay. in switzerland they're all like very classy and you know it's all people from all over the world that have money and then i saw this fucking weirdo like with long hair and a stupid hat and a guitar and then i was like oh that that guy he's refreshing to see like a, a guy that looks you know kind of uh, you know like a, a uh, like a bohemian fucking weirdo and, but then he, he goes in front of me and then he had a sticker. He had a bunch of stickers on his guitar case. One of them was "I love Berlin," and right next to it was a swastika. He really loves Berlin, but he loves yeah, old Berlin. He loves old Berlin. <laughs> he loves it. He just doesn't like. He he wants to make Berlin great again. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he was like, the old Berlin was good. Yeah, this new Berlin too Jewy, <laughs> yeah, very Jewy, <laughs> very Jewy. It, but it, and it was a, it was one of those sort of artsy, uh, like it, it was a little different. You know how some fucking people go? It's no, they're, they're it, reimagining the swastika. But they're like, no, no, but this isn't the swastika from Germany. It's an old Egyptian symbol, and you're it's like an old uh, Hindi symbol. Yeah, but you're like, oh, f yeah, fuck you though. They the the Germans kind of stole it from yeah. the. You you can't you can't use the old. It's very hard to bring that yeah. one back. There's certain things you can't bring back. Yeah, I think. like the name Adolf. Like Adolf was it's a hard fine name, but now if you name your kid Adolf, it's because you're a Nazi, <laughs> right? Because no one who in their fucking right mind would be like, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do, Adolf. My kid looks like a trooper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it was weird. I, I was just staring at the guy, going, "God damn, this guy's fucking." The balls on that guy. Yeah. Yeah. But that's interesting that yeah. he's, he went to Berlin and all he took out of it was like, wow, this place was so much better <laughs> at a certain time in history. Yeah. The time that everybody else thinks wasn't good. You can tell some fucking Jewish guy probably pissed him off. He was on the plane going, this fucking Jewish guy is taking my armrest. I'm, yeah. I'm buying a sticker. <laughs> I, yeah, where do you get those stickers, yeah, too? Plus the I Love Berlin sticker, you can find it in a store. But the Swastika sticker, you got to go online. And you got to make it yourself. Yeah, or maybe he made Vista it print. himself. Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure this is the logo you want to print on these stickers, sir? I don't even... Like, yeah, that's exactly what I'm looking for. Can you get that from Vista print, do you think? Or you get whatever you, you want. Do, they, don't, they don't check, so I could have... Uh, the fuck? You can have a I Love Berlin sticker I love all, Berlin. all your own. Yeah. We should do that. We should fill the studio with I Love Berlin. I Love Berlin. W what are you guys doing? We're just showing our love for Berlin. <laughs> <laughs> Old Berlin. Yeah, that, 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 that kind of surprised me. That is so stupid. Yeah. It's insane that he didn't think 
context wise, like in Switzerland, there's gonna be a lot of Europeans there. If you really want to show off Nazi propaganda, do you remember uh, Rael? The Raelians? The, the Raelians? No, but I'm thinking of bringing one of these cult guys over to the Pentelis podcast. Like, i got to interview some cult uh, people. Those people are the best. I'd met, I'd met one of those guys. Uh, one of the le- He wasn't a leader leader, but he was so like more a, of a priest. Follower? But he was like one of the higher ups. And it was very funny because we were talking. And I was like, and you can make money being a priest you know, with the Raelians? And he was like, no, I have a job. And I was like, what job do you have? And he was a stripper in a, in a gay bar. <laughs> I was like, how can you be a priest slash stripper in a gay bar? <laughs> He's like, that's the beauty of this cult. You could do yeah, whatever you want. <laughs> that's a fun thing about it being in a crazy religion. <laughs> Anything goes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fire sale every day, really. Yeah, but their old logo used to be the the swastika. The it it was they had the Star of David and inside the Star of David. They had a swastika. What? To show that how they're bringing everyone together. But you're like, yeah, That's but those two people, you, sh- you, you shouldn't bring, bring those together. <laughs> it's an explosive mix. It's going to end the, uh, not in a good way. Yeah, you like fire and gasoline. Yeah. Don't put them together. And then after uh, Rael, he was going, no, but it's not, it's not the swastika. He was saying it was the old uh, Hindi one. Yeah. What's his name? Uh, uh, Rael. Yeah, it sounds like yeah. a Hindi name. Yeah. He's, he's bringing Hindi yeah. back. He's making Hindi great again. What religion is Jamie? I never asked him. Yeah, atheist. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you believe in, Jamie? <laughs> is a uh, is a uh, Poseidon uh, religious? He is now. <laughs> I d- we should get him. This is what we should do, and we should do this behind the paywall so that. Uh, po- do you think? Uh, uh, yeah, Poseidon's going to listen to these. Yeah, the one, sh- the this one, yeah, for sure, and he's fuming. Do you think he is? He's sitting there right now, fuming, Angry. being his dick, yeah. Fuming. Because he's like, why is that piece of garbage more interesting than me? <laughs> <laughs> Many reasons. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we should we should get uh, Poseidon into a cult. That should be a thing. Because I, I wanted today... I you didn't, mean like he knows that he's going to a cult? I think he... Like, would just tell him, look, uh, warn him. These people are in a cult. They're going to try to get you to join. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to not join the cult. But it could get tricky. They could (laughs) offer you all kinds of shit. Or, but just tell them, like, we should send them undercover into a cult, but without cameras and without uh, anyone to see what's going on, and then uh, see what happens. Like, you you report back to us in person. (laughs) Report back to us if... uh, you make it if you make it he comes back with like a full robe <laughs> he's like brothers i've seen the light <laughs> you need to come with me now <laughs> i had uh there were, there were uh i saw harry krishna's not this summer but the summer before this one in in uh, at the comedy festival like actual harry krishna's like uh, hanging out just hanging out that and makes was, sense who doesn't like to laugh yeah but it's weird that if you're in a like a, a cult you think your leader wouldn't let you go to a, a comedy show. Because they'll be like, you'll get picked on like crazy. Yeah, but oh, they were in the show? No, no, no. They were outside just hanging yeah, out. Yeah, they, they were probably just walking playing. around like, what is all these lights? Yeah. And then they, they were they, playing, you know, gu- guitar. Or hip, s- sitar. Sitar. They were playing stupid yeah, hippie music. Some stupid instrument <laughs> <laughs> from some stupid country. <laughs> 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 they were just... <laughs> down, 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 down. <laughs> You play any instruments, uh, Jamie? Plays a banjo. Yeah. <laughs> That's very interesting. <laughs> Plays <laughs> play the banjo. I didn't see that one coming. I Me mean, neither. That was, uh, that was so unexpected. I feel like it made my day. Anyways, that's the one shot of the that's week. It. We're that's already done. We're already done. This one shot. If you, uh, We're going to have a full episode on Compound Media. Head over to Compound Media. If you're not a subscriber, it's uh, compoundmedia.com. And if you use the promo code CANADA20, that's CANADA20, you get 20% off your subscription, which makes yep. it cost almost nothing. Cost nothing. It's cheap as fuck. Anthony Kumia's book, Permanently Suspended, is out in bookstores on Amazon, and the audiobook is available on Audible right now, so you can listen to Anthony read you his book. Uh, so there's that available for you? I almost thought, like, I read it, I read the book uh, on the plane. I finished it, mm-hmm. and when I saw the audiobook was available, I might listen to it again. Me too. Me too. Just to uh, hear Anthony I think it'll be funnier. Yeah. Hear him say it. 
So there's that. Uh, Mike Ward's special is on Amazon Prime. If you're in the States or in the UK, you can get that. If not, if you're in Canada, it's on Vimeo. That's Mike Ward. Um, infamous. infamous. Yeah, it's yeah. infamous, this one. I don't know why that escaped me for just a second. Head over to MikeWard.ca to get details on both the special, his dates that are upcoming, and on all his podcasts. You could follow me at uh, PantelsComedy.com. All the links are there. Thank you for listening.